I've been saving my best two pawns for last. It's Sunday, it's the last day of the competition. Oh, he snapped. He snapped me off. I'm gonna keep fishing since I'm here. I'll just kind of build a bridge and get over it, you know. There's a fish. There's a fish. A nice fish. Oh yeah, decent fish. Really good fish. See, that's the kind of fish I, I could have got that last one and this one. Oh my gosh. We would have been laughing. Oh, if only that had the old chatterbait in its mouth. The gifts and butts for candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Look at that big fat girl. On the Nico Leach. 17 and a half. Oh, jeez. Saddle bud. Saddle girl. Ooh, doggy. Away you go. A 17 and a half inch sow. I love this uh, this setup here. You just glide your finger right across that, but they bite down and boom. You can catch a hundred fish on that Nico leech. There we go. Little guy. Hey. Oh, he swam right up on shore for me. If you don't believe in the Nico leech, start believing in it. Just start believing one time. We'll measure it just for fun. See, sometimes being cheap doesn't get you ahead in life. You know, learn from me. Sometimes it's good to be frugal, but being cheap. Yeah, see, that would have been an upgrade. I would have had a 15, a 15 and a quarter, and a 17 and a half. Okay, the next competition is gonna be uh, Reese life, dad life. You guys need to make a leech and Helgermite. Okay. Sound like a deal? You gotta love that. You must love it. If you don't love that, you don't got a pulse. I'm sorry. Yep, another one. So the barometer's been climbing a lot today. It was really low yesterday. Oh, that one was barely hooked. But between one and four, it climbs a lot and then it peaks at four and flattens out till about eight o'clock tonight and then starts to drop. And I kind of thought maybe if I could get in like between, somewhere between like 1.30 or two and four, the bite might uh, kind of peak. Oh wow, as soon as it hit the water. Oh, it's not a bad fish. Oh, like 14. Something like that. Oh, maybe, maybe 13 actually. I mean, he just, he hit that like the second it, the second it hit the water. You know, I never used to really fish dark colors, but the last year, I've really started believing in, uh, you know, the old, the more natural presentation. Sometimes I'll use colorful, flashy lures still, but more and more, I'm using dark heads and dark bodies. Purple, never used to use purple. Now I use purple quite often. And then just like these more natural Helgermites or leeches or crayfish, kind of makes sense when you think all the crayfish that get eaten. Anything that mimics like that kind of brown or dark colors. There's some big green sunfish in here. And I've, I've, whoa, this might be a toad. Is it? It's hard to tell sometimes. Right up on shore. Oh yeah. Oh, this guy choked it big time. Oh, look at how, look how that fish choked. That's, that's a 15 inch plus fish. Oh, we'll get him on the board. Get her on the board, I guess. 16. So we would have been at what? 17 and a half, 16, plus that big one I lost. We'd be, be giving all the 
old groovy beard to run for his money. <laughs> Another one. My, my, oh, another bruiser. At some point, you just gotta stop taking pictures. You know, this fish feels bigger than it is. 15 and three quarters. So we've had now several today, but they're all 15 to 17. Look at that Nico Leach. A thing of beauty it is. I mean, where we just keep catching them in here. And we'll just catch another fish in the meantime. Because <laughs> that's what we're doing today. We're just catching fish here. A solid boy. You know, just another solid fish. Oofda, oofda. Yeah, we're still feeling good here. Still feeling pretty good. How many more can we catch here? I guess another one. This one feels solid. Oh! Oh! That was a bruiser. How many more chances can I get? Could have gotten Big Sally back by chance. This is a nice fish. Yeah, 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 this is a nice fish. Oh, this is a good fish. I don't think it's hooked real good. Oh, look at that bucket mouth. Oh! <laughs> Turns out, and that's my fish of the day. Oh, it's got a weird little growth on it. <laughs> look at that sucker. Oh, that's a toad. I'm not gonna, why would I switch lures? You know, when they're, oh, I guess it was oh, pretty good, actually. Oh. Can I Can I just say some more good things about the Nico Helger mite? Oh yeah, it's bigger than the other one, 18. 18 inches. Look at that. Almost would have had to pull out the bump board. Hey, I'm going to break out a lure I haven't used in a long time. This is a MEPS spinner. We used to fish for northern pike with these a lot growing up in Canada. And uh, I kind of forgot about these, but I found one. We used to use a wire leader and catch a lot of pike on these. There we go. I guess it works. There we go. You bet it oh, works. Yeah. <laughs> This is just getting downright silly here at this spot. <laughs> oh. ah, that was a quality fish. fish. I kind of overkilled it on that hook. <laughs> Another quality fish, fish that I guarantee is not wore out yet. Oh. How many fish are we going to catch here? They're all quality fish. Went off yeah. 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 Right from the mountain. Yeah. Oh, nice oh. red, red eye on that. Yeah. There we go. Another fish. Oh, oh. oh boy. Oh. Slap happy here. Okay, we got that one loose. Oh, it's real hard. It's number yeah. 11, I believe. Oh, it almost looks like it could be the same one. Here, we're wearing them out. We're wearing them out, folks. When they say we wore them out, that's what it means. But we are wearing them out. Another beauty. Another beaut. Huh. I mean. I don't know how many more fish we can catch right here. All of a sudden, they're short striking the. Oh, you can't back. Get back, buddy. It's all fish. Get back, buddy. It's good. I mean, that's one of our. You know, it's a great session when that's the second smallest, smallest fish out of like almost 15. Another fish from that culvert that just keeps producing fish for us. Ooh, that's a decent fish, too. Sure splash nice anyway. Oh yeah, this is, a, this is a good one. This is another. Ooh. Have not caught this fish yet. Look at the scar on the head on this fish. See, here's proof we're not catching the, oh, the 
same fish over and over. Look at the scar. Tough fish. That's a big one. Right through the nose. How did it lose part of its head? Turtle? I don't know. What do you think? You ever seen that? Just shy of 17. These fish have a tough life. The Reese Life Dad Life Challenge. It's been a fun Sunday afternoon. I've always said uh, I think black and yellow makes fish angry. It's kind of an aggressive color. And uh, it seems like that might be the case here. On the first cast with the Nika, that I think that fish followed it for a long ways actually. It's a good one, I believe. I'm a little speechless here, friends. Is it fair to just keep catching so many fish? It just ain't right. <laughs> but if being right is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Or something like that. Oh. Ooh, this one's tail's all messed up. I've never seen that on a bass before. We just keep catching new fish all the time. Well, our time here is nearing an end. Back to where it all began, where that big girl broke me off from the chatterbait. Not a tank, but another one. That might be the smallest fish of the day, actually. Might be the smallest one of the day. Oh, you're <laughs> right at me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta follow it in. I don't know, maybe we'll end the video on this little tiny boy here.